Hello, this is Sapna. We are going to make butter chicken and I'm going to teach you how to make it. What you will need A blender and a medium pan 4 pounds of chopped boneless chicken thighs or breast 1 large finely diced onion sautéed with 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil 2 medium tomatoes, 4 cloves of garlic, 10 Thai chilies, a palm full of sliced almonds, 1 fourth piece of ginger 1 tablespoon of lemon juice 2 tablespoons of butter chicken masala mix This can be purchased at any Indian food market and my own special masala mix 2 teaspoons of salt 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper 2 and a half spoons of dhania jeera powder which is really cilantro powder and cumin powder this can be bought pre-mixed at any Indian market I have already made the uh, onions you have to brown them and add chicken to it the chicken pieces are already chopped and they are pieces of thigh either you can use thigh pieces or breast pieces my husband was the one who was the real chef who has taught me cooking and he took about three years to get me online properly and now he doesn't even enter the kitchen now you need to stir it and mix it with the onions and bring the flame a little bit higher so it cooks I like to cook and feed everybody it's uh, relaxing, it's less stressful and you get to experiment with it I need to put all this in the blender to make a pe paste not best even the masala you have to put it in the blender so it mixes really good I'm used to it doing this way but I know it is about two spoons and then you need to add lemon juice to it and then you need to add water about one cup and then you need to blend it and the reason I, I add my own spices to the butter chicken masala because this is kind of sweet and I and my family don't like that much sweet if they want to learn the real Indian authentic way they can watch my show and learn the simple way of cooking Indian food yeah the chicken I'm stirring and it's leaving water that water needs to be dried up I like to wear saris it is uh, very decent and it looks good it covers your stomach up <laughs> Now that most of the water has been evaporated, we will add my special masala mix. Two and a half teaspoons of dhania jeera powder. Make sure you spread it around. Two teaspoons of salt. Again spread it. Finally a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Again spreading it. Now stir the chicken and mix the masalas. Next take the mix from the blender and pour it in the pan. Hit the mix. Bring the flame up a little bit more. And you have to wait till the curry thickens. Let it cook and cover it. And leave it for 30 minutes. And uh, if you want to learn cooking, come and see my show and subscribe on it and you'll really love it and enjoy it. And I'll teach you the right way of cooking. And look at the color, it looks so good. And you see the things are not stuck on the side. The gravy is not stuck, it is thick, it looks awesome. Now you want to add coriander for garnishing. In India they call it coriander, over here they call it cilantro. You can eat it with garlic naan. It is available at uh, any food place, a grocery market, whole foods place or um, sprouts and it tastes really good. So try it out with this.
Garlic naan is the best with makarnal chicken.